It's been a couple weeks and I missed you guys. I wanted to come on here and just cook up some beats. Let's hop around genres and just discuss stuff. Maybe we make some new friends along the way. Maybe we learn some new sauce and we just have a good old time, a grand time. Bump this up to 160. I think I'm gonna make this first one from scratch. And people, new producers especially, always ask me, do you need paid VSTs, like paid virtual instruments? to actually be able to make good melodies absolutely not there's so many good uh default things that come with it uh and whatever doll you have if you have fruity loops ableton and they all have really good default ones that come with the doll itself hey plugins do make it a lot easier so we're gonna go ahead and open analog labs over here and i'm just gonna start something off i'm thinking like maybe a nudie vibe to start warm up nudie as in young nudie all right we can do something with this we're gonna bring this out all the way and I don't overthink beats too much, bro. I just start some shit. Especially if I'm making something from scratch, I just start it. I don't question it. For nudie stuff, a lot of its tension notes, as you see here, it goes to uh, the F and it's just one note apart. A lot of his uh, songs are like that. And it's just the, it's just the vibe or whatever you want to make. You don't got to do it this way. Make whatever type of beat you want. But I'm going to be making some type of nudie thing and just playing off this and see if we come up with something. I don't know what I'm looking for, but I don't know if I hear it. Sure, that works. I found it. We'll go like a little like every other type thing like this. I'm just gonna use it as an actual rhythm instead. Yeah. Let's bring these down. Yeah. I used to be scared of the backlash of people just like clowning how a beat sounded because making something from scratch and it's not like when you watch it visually it's not too extravagant looking there's not a lot it doesn't got to be a whole bunch of like crazy chords or progressions going on but a lot of the times it gets the job done and it's more about I'm more of a vibe person like if, it, if the shit sounds good with one note and two sounds I'm gonna leave that shit but we're gonna add it we are gonna add a couple more sounds to this let's find something cool like a like a some type of effect need some EQing on that sound. If you kind of like like the feeling of a sound or you feel like it's got some potential and then you put it in and it's just too harsh or it's too loud or something, don't be afraid to just come in here and EQ some shit. Add a throw EQ on it. It'll fix a lot of the problems that kind of are hearing. Yeah, I've been working on this. Uh, I've just been working on some new sounds here. If you guys want these sounds, uh, this video to 4,000 likes, send some people these sounds and I'll send some people some new kits too. So yeah, like the video. If you do like it, drop a like, subscribe. A lot of you guys aren't subscribed. You guys should be, be making cool stuff. And I give stuff out all the time. Hop in my discord. There's hella free stuff and millions of loot, uh, link below. But yeah, you don't got to overthink the actual melodies too much. And it's more about just be creating with, uh, being creative with the best. Once you understand what chords are and stuff, it doesn't make that much sense to me all the time. Why people feel like they got to like overdo producing all the time and try to make it like some extravagant looking process. What's the difference between making chords like this and just obviously me having it simple and having it one note tension chords like breath? You're just making chords. It's not like it's just extra steps when you do certain shit. So it doesn't add any. It doesn't make anything cooler to me when something looks like super crazy with a hell of a bunch of MIDI sounds. It's just like, all right, you sat around, clicked longer. Like all you gotta do is just click around in the scale and you'll have something that sounds coherent if you really wanted to, but it's not the vibe I really wanna go for for this track. I just wanted to be banging back and forth. The 808's rumbling, tumbling. The magic with some of these beats come in mostly, I think comes with like the arrangement and the creativity that comes in with like how you bring the beat in and how like sound effects play off of your drums and your melodies and stuff. Oh, I fucked up. Hold on. We move all these over. Holy shit. Perfect. 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 See, just right there, just that little weird sound, having the beat actually start on that weird sound just brings a little bit more life to the beat itself. Not that this is just a next level fucking Grammy nominated beat, but like just vibe wise, bro, just play some shit and have some fun freestyle and make fun making music. Perfect. This is a cool way to start it. up a little bit. Give a little room to 
breathe. I'm like a on a verse here. Let's come on the master and we throw a growth speed on this. Let's see what we come up with. This is fun to do sometimes. People don't do a lot. Throw something on the master. Throw things on the master and watch. Just let's see. This bitch sound like just threw up. I'm actually gonna print this whole thing right here. All to R, which records it. It's gonna record that red area here. I'm pointing at the screen like you can fuck. Then you see here how it doesn't come in in the beginning, but then you should be able to come into the second half. Ooh, ooh, okay. Okay, this could be cool like this, like this. Da, da, da. And then right before it goes into the bridge and restarts, it has that little reverse part come in, so. And it just restarts. All right, fuck it. Beat one done. Mad simple. It's two notes basically. And we got a little nudie beat. That was fun. For the second beat, my boy Fuego sent me loops. And this one was pretty hard. I'm going to download it. Go two 808s on this. I'm going to have this shit clip. Okay, I'm getting sound somewhere we're getting somewhere with this all right this is the type of shit that's fun so come over here and this is how sometimes i'll be doing beats i'll like make two 808 sections and then knowing i'm still gonna make like more com not complex but different progression of the 808 sections i just kind of get the beat started and then i'll just alternate for now oh it could come in like that i'll have this go i'll have this hit with the 808 so it'll be like this do something different for this second half of here i'll just unique it up here click this made it unique now it's separated from this not the same thing so here's sometimes what i think when i'm doing like these cool little street type of beats or every eight here you could just have the last pattern this last little brick here go crazy do something different do something unique and you could do the same thing like i'll come over here for this second See, this could be cool what if it what if, what if it's just like this yeah that's better than what it was before now we got sections that we could just copy over and then from here just have a fun with it all right let's see ah let's go let's let's make it a little third one That shit sounds stupid. Cool. Got a couple beats. Thank you guys so much for stopping by. If you did like the video, drop a like, subscribe, giving out free stuff. Comment down below. Love to do some stuff with you guys. Join my Discord. Blah, blah, blah. I'm out.